now on BBC Two, live from Coventry Cathedral, a concert given by the BBC Philharmonic under its principal director, conductor Jan Pascal Tortelier. They're going to play music by Beethoven and Sir Michael Tippett, who's 90 this year, in concertos for Coventry. <laughs> Tonight is the 50th anniversary of the bombing of Dresden, in which some 35,000 people died. Coventry has for many years been twinned with Dresden and was one of the most severely bombed British towns of the war. A thousand people died here, and the old Gothic cathedral was gutted, leaving only the ruins you can see in the distance behind me. After the war, this magnificent new cathedral was built alongside the old one. The finest artists of the time contributed works of art. Apart from sculptures by Epstein and Elizabeth Frink, there's a tapestry by Graham Sutherland that covers the entire east wall depicting Christ in glory and a spectacular baptistry window by John Piper. Both Sutherland and Piper had been war artists, but for this building they were able to turn to the sacred and the peaceful. As a place to meditate both upon the suffering of war and also the spirit of reconciliation that can supersede it, there is perhaps no finer setting than this. And tonight we invoke that spirit through the music of two great composers. Sir Michael Tippett has just celebrated his 90th birthday. He's always been highly sensitive to the suffering of humanity. He's a trenchant pacifist, was even jailed for his views during the war. Initially, he felt unable to write anything at all about the horrors of the Blitzkrieg, the atom bomb, and the concentration camps. But hearing Walter Gieseking play Beethoven's fourth piano concerto in Germany in 1945, Tippett began to realize that it was possible, as he put it, to sing again. And we'll hear the result, his piano concerto, later in the program. But we begin with Beethoven, that piano concerto number four in G major. Beethoven was the soloist in the first performance of this piece in 1807, and it must have amazed the audience, starting as it does with quiet chords on the piano all on its own. And this had never been done before. The concerto is one of Beethoven's most serene works, and I particularly love the central slow movement, where in the space of just three pages, Beethoven effects a wonderful drawing together of two seemingly disparate ideas. A strident line from the strings on the one hand, and warm, calming chords from the piano on the other. The conciliatory pianist eventually wins the day before all join together for a final movement full of dancing rhythms. The orchestra tonight is the BBC Philharmonic, guest leader David Nolan, and the conductor is Jan Pascal Tortelier with Stephen Kovacevic, the soloist in Beethoven's fourth piano concerto. Here now are Jan Pascal Tortelier, who is the principal conductor of the BBC Philharmonic, and in front of him, Stephen Kovacevic, a particularly fine and individual exponent of Beethoven. His fascination with Beethoven's music has led him to rethink his approach, and he has in fact recorded many of the works more than once. Beethoven's Piano Concerto Number 4.
Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 4 in G Major, Opus 58. Stephen Kovacevic was the expressive and elegant soloist with the BBC Philharmonic, conducted by Jan Pascal Tortelier. Well, Stephen Kovacevic certainly responded to that music and sadly he is himself no stranger to this program's theme of war and music. His father is Croatian and Stephen is principal guest conductor of the Zagreb Philharmonic Orchestra. It contains both Serbs and Croats and he's due to return shortly to them and tour and perform in the ruins of the Philharmonic Hall in Dubrovnik. Another magnificent building shattered by war, this time the civil war in Bosnia and Croatia. And here they come again, Jan Pascal Tortelier, who of course is no stranger to accompanying soloists, he's a violinist himself, and he's the son of the illustrious cellist Paul. This is his third year as principal conductor of the BBC Philharmonic. You may remember their televised prom concert last year, where they performed Sibelius's first symphony. Tortelier and the BBC Philharmonic recently appeared at the Barbican in the BBC Hindemith Festival, and next month they'll be touring the USA together.